It's okay if you're not everybody's cup of tea. Yes. You don't have to be. You just have to be true to who it is that God called you to be. And that's where the longevity comes. When people go, well, I want to stay the course. Stay the course by staying true, not just to you, but staying true to who He has created you to be. God puts gifts in other people for us. Yes. yes. He, did, like, he had to show me, He's like, you know, the gift I've put in you it's not for you, it's for other people. Yes. Makes me work, yeah. gives yeah. them pleasure. Yeah. And nice. so the gift that God has put in you mm. is not something that he wants somebody else. I can't enjoy you if I'm jealous of you. That's right. I, you know, if I, I wish I could sing like that, I wish I could sing like that, I wish I looked like that, then not only can I not enjoy you, but to be honest, we could never be friends. Yeah, you're right. And you can't even enjoy you. No. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. Yeah. And I believe that probably the largest part of people don't like who they are. Yeah, I agree. And I think that is the number one problem that we have because if you don't like and love yourself, and I don't mean be in love with yourself, yes. but love yourself, you cannot love somebody else right. because you cannot give away what you don't have. Now that'll preach in itself. Because maybe you see the flaws in others like you see in yourself. Well, cool. yes. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so that's all you can see. Yeah. You know, we can look in the mirror, all of us. I tried to be like my pastor's <laughs> wife and she was, <laughs> she was sweet and blonde <laughs> and so submissive. And of course, she loved to counsel people and she'd say, oh, tell me more. Tell, well, you talk to me two minutes. I know what's wrong with you. Here's what you need to do. If you don't do it, don't bother coming back. <laughs> and I just tried so hard. I even actually, I did this. I tried to lower my voice. Yes. And people would say, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and it's so wonderful to finally get through all that nonsense. And I do think people kind of have to go through it. You do. I think you yes. have to try it to find yeah. out. It's just yeah. not going to work. Yeah. And you need to accept yourself. Yeah. And if there's things about you that aren't perfect, I just say, do the best you can with what you got <laughs> and stop worrying about what you don't have. I want to introduce you to an amazing organization that Matt and I just love. It's called Mercy Ships. They're the largest floating civilian hospital in the world staffed by generous doctors and nurses who donate their time to bring life-saving medical care to those who otherwise would not be able to receive treatment. Their newest ship, the Global Mercy, is joining their fleet, creating urgent need for more volunteers. You don't have to be a doctor or a nurse to serve. There are many other positions on the ship that are desperately needed, including cooks, cleaning teams, and more. It's easy to get involved. Just visit mercyships.org for more information. Well, I think the thing is too, like when I listen to you say that, it's just a reminder to me that a lot of people are constantly chasing. So yes, you have to go through that, but then you get to the place where if you can get to the place where you can accept who God made you to be and walk in it, Yes. Then I look at you in your not real later years, but in your somewhat later years, and you're still here. Right. The longevity yes. is yes. there. And so I think a lot of people watching, even they're thinking about these things they want to do, or dreams they've had, or platforms they wish they could be on, or whatever it is. And, and they don't ever get, so they're constantly chasing what this person, and then it didn't work out. And they're chasing what this person, and if they could only get to the place where they can accept, which I'm preaching to myself, <laughs> you get to the place where you accept who you are and what God's called you to be. I remember a time, and I think we would identify a lot in this, being just on a platform in an entertainment sense, right? Even though it's ministry, yes. it's still yes. the pressure of a record company yes. thinking how yes. you have to look and how yeah. you have to sound and yeah. how you have to sing. And I went through so much insecurity because my voice is my voice, mm -hmm. right? It's 
it, it is what it is. It's it's power. It's loud. It's strong. They I thought try to I was back white. Off. I thought you were black. Yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how yeah, to yeah. do it another way. And I would look at other people that were like, that was the sound of the moment. Yeah. You know, be like, well, you need to be more like this. And so then you try to record something. You're like, that's not even me. And it doesn't work. And it doesn't work. And then you're like, well, I'm trying to be this and try to fit into this. And they bring you a sound from pop music. Well, that's what's working. And I remember just going through those first problems six to seven years of my music career of people telling me all the things I needed to be because what I was wasn't going to work. It was too gospel to be a white girl. It was too loud. It was too strong. It was too, and you know what? Here I am 22 or 23 years later um, because I made a decision to be true to what yeah, God put in me absolutely. and who I am and how he created me. And it wasn't going to be for everybody. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's okay if you're not everybody's cup of tea. Yes. You don't have to be. Yes. You just have to be true to who it is that God called you to be. And that's where the longevity comes. When people go, well, I want to stay the course. Yeah. Stay the course by staying true, not just to you, yeah. but staying true to who he has created you to be. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.